right now? What are people going through? Um, well, the last two days we had about 24 inches of rain. So, um, you know, a lot of my hometown, like my, we have this old down diner in my thing and it just got completely flooded. Like their tables are all over the streets. Our famous Mexican restaurant, Los Cucos, is cherished. So, you know, um, you know, just a lot of rebuilding down there now. I mean, it's gone down a lot, but just a lot of rebuilding. Our train tracks are everywhere. Our gravel's everywhere. All the buildings are destroyed. So, you know, it's just rebuilding now. Did your home make it through it, or, or what's the status of So the we did. So my house is built, uh, my whole town's rice fields. So they uh, engineered it right so that we don't flood because like that. So we're higher up. You got some you know, other friends that, that didn't get that lucky? or what, what's uh, I had a lot of friends. A lot of my friends I grew up playing football with and old Katie. Um, their, uh, their house did not make it through. Um, they're all on boats. Um, as of yesterday, I saw that a lot of my friends were on jet skis. A lot of them were on boats, and a lot I still haven't heard from. So um, I'm just hoping that they're okay. Uh, how tough is that to, to see those images and, and try to reach out to friends and you can't get a hold of them? What, what's this whole thing been like from so far away trying to you know, feel like you're, you're there helping and, and knowing what's going on? You know, um, I th actually, the other night I told my mom to turn it off because I, I, I couldn't watch it anymore. Like, that's, that's where I grew up. That's where all my friends are. That's where all my memories are. And, just to see it completely torn, literally apart, um, it just, it stinks, you know. Your, your, your family's here? Then? Yeah, uh, my mom and my sister are, okay. yes. I, yes I mean, at, at least nice to, you know, have your family up here. For sure, like that, especially for sure, like that. for sure, for sure, always a blessing. What is, what is it about, um, I mean, at a time like this, you see a lot of people helping, and uh, just, how are Texans unique, I guess? Uh, you know, Texan, su southern, uh, southern hospitality, you know, we, uh, we help each other out, and um, we always put one another before ourselves. So I think that's what, especially in my town, everyone is helping everybody, and they never want to leave someone behind. How, do you, how important do you think that type of resiliency will be throughout this whole process? Um, very important. Uh, we need a lot of strong people, especially because my town's a lot of older people. So um, all the younger, like my whole football team today, went door to door helping people, you know, refurbish their houses, pull up their carpets. So, you know, um, credit to them and all the younger people. We really need that. And I know you said your, your friends and stuff, have, or some of your friends have been displaced, but what would it be like if, if you were, if this, this ha were to happen last year? I mean, are, are you guys have football games going on still? Or they um, I believe they said they canceled for the last two weeks because um, a lot of our high schools in our district, not Katy, but a lot like Maid Creek, Morton Ranch, they took on a lot of water. So they canceled games for this week and next week. So they're, they're still trying to figure that out. We were talking to Zach Haney, you know, from the basketball team. He's from Houston also. And, and just talking about how he wishes he was there helping. I mean, uh, I know you're here and you're safe and obviously you're ready for the season, but as part of you kind of, is it tough to not be there, being able to lend a helping hand? Uh, oh, every bit of me. I was telling my mom the other night, every bit of me wants to be up there helping. I mean, as I said, that's my hometown. That's where I grew up. All my friends are out there helping. You know, that, that's the kind of stuff I live for. I'm a helper. I don't, I mean, I'm not. What do you call selfish? Uh, I like to help other people, so it just kills me not being there. How you know, you're, you know having to get ready for your you know, possibly your first game on Saturday, the opener, and you got school going on and everything. How hard has it been to you know, you know focus on you know what's going on here in Boise while still trying to follow and you know reach out to family and friends back home? Um, it, you know, it's it's been difficult, but um, Coach Avlos always tells me and all the coaching staffs that you know focus on what you can control. Obviously, I can't control rain falling from the sky or or you know, my town flooding. I can only control what happens in Boise, on the blue, in practice. So I'm just trying to focus on what I can control and uh, just worry about that later. How, uh, you know, I know that Boise State's done a couple things to uh, maybe you know, sending shoes, shirts, whatever it might be. Uh, how much is that? Oh, it's, it's helped um, a ton. Um, Usher, Coach Usher told me the other day that um, all the athletic departments, basketball, football, volleyball, sent all these clothes to um, just people in need in Houston. And that, and that, you know, that touches the heart because that means they truly care, you know what I'm saying? So. What is kind of the status of some of the other things in Katy? I mean, is there, is there any schools or churches or anything in particular that did get flooded that you know of or that's not in good shape? Or? Um, all of our elementaries down in our downtown Katy got flooded because they're on lower ground. Um, Katie's fine. Um, all the other high schools on the east side got flooded real, real bad. Um, and uh, now they're using like Katie uh, is a station for the National Guard. So we're like housing them in there. And Cinco Ranch and uh, Morton Ranch are housing people as we speak right now. And then all the other ones are completely gone. So. What was your uh, initial?
initial feeling when you heard they had declared state of emergency and the flooding was really bad for that? Uh, first thought was my family. I mean, uh, my grandparents live not even five minutes from me. Um, my close friend Zach and his family, he's like a brother to me. I thought of them. I immediately called my mom, um, asking if everyone's okay and if they needed any help or anything like that. So. You know, I, I know that down there you guys have had like, you know, hurricanes and stuff touch, but I mean, I, I know we see the video, but, but how unique is this? And I mean, from some of the normal stuff that you might see down there. So when I was, I don't even remember how old I was, Ike hit and uh, we just got the outer brim of it. And, you know, as a kid, I'm like, holy crap, you know, like that's crazy. And now seeing this, it's like, this is, I mean, my town completely flooded, like, gas station the water was halfway up the gas stations like halfway up all the restaurants all the houses like one of my friends house is foundation uprooted like it's it's crazy and, and you know it's not it's something i thought i'd never see because we live so far from the coast but i mean it hit so you said uh, you're obviously your mom and your sister are here uh did they plan on staying here this long, or did, did they, did <laughs> no. they come back? Or? No, they didn't. They, uh, they were planning on coming for the weekend, and then um, our airport shut down and, like, kept everyone in the airport. And uh, she was like, I'm just going to stay till Sunday because we don't want to be stuck with a bunch of people that we don't know. And I was like, that's totally fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> Is there one image or you know, thing that, that, that you saw that stuck out to you the most, one landmark or the highway with the water being the highest? Was there one thing that you've seen the last week that's – maybe been the hardest for you to take? Or so when you drive down, um, when you come off the highway to get to my house, there's a light at the end and you take a left to get go under a bridge and go through my house and that that whole um, road and median and there's a gas station to your right, that whole thing was underwater, every bit of it. And uh, my dad sent me a picture of our street, uh, Wood Creek, and um, you couldn't even see the street, you couldn't even see the lawns, like it was crazy. Been watching. Um, how do you feel about the rescue efforts that are being put oh, in this area? Ble beyond blessed. I thank God every day for it. Beyond blessed. I mean, seeing all those, as I said, our our um, our high schools like holding a national guard and soldiers and policemen, and I just give credit to all of them because you know we wouldn't be as far as we would be right now today if it wasn't for them. I mean, what was it on the news the other day? Forty-three thousand lives or forty-three hundred lives or something like that. You know, it's crazy. We, we couldn't do it by ourselves, that's for sure. And I just thank them every day for it.